This is one of the bigger ones. This is um, got a Missouri license plate on it. And this one he used, I don't know if you can see it or not, but he used these square nails. He got a jar of square nails someplace and he uses those as um, the little perches for the birds. But um, there's some of his um, bird houses. This one he used just for decorations. He used different um, types of, um, I don't know if the birds would like this or not, but uh, they're kind of shiny to sit on. But he uh, made that one also. What is called a warty gourd? They call them warty gourds because they look like they have warts all over them. But um, they come in different shapes. But um, I don't know how to describe it. But um, he stains it and then he um, puts a, a coating on it. And uh, you can hang that right outside. Kind of different. But they're fun to watch these grow because you never know what you're going to get. This one's a little different too. This is um, another, um, he used a screw on this one for um, the bird perch. But this one he actually took his burner out and burned a design in, in this one. And then I think he used um, Adirondack inks on this. But um, that's another that's another example. I'm on top of the car here, but um, you can see this is one of his smaller ones. Um, he buys those little um, put together birdhouses, and then he'll um, he takes some um, pieces of wood and wraps them with twine, and then adds flowers to them. That's just one of those decorations for our front porch. But it's kind of cute, and it's uh, not too hard to put those together, and. Uh, he did all right on that. It's real pretty. Here's one of the Christmas ones we have on the front porch every year. What are you doing? Talking. Okay, first one there is uh, made from reclaimed wood from uh, old barn. The second one over with the license plate uh, and the uh, the drawer knob on it for the uh, bird to rest on. That's all. Uh, some of that's reclaimed wood. And the last one is uh, made from a gourd and it's uh, with uh, um, ink, uh, Adirondack ink uh, is how it's uh, stained. Okay, go ahead. Okay, first one with the uh, horseshoe on it, that's made from uh, fencing that you see around houses, the wooden fencing with the uh, Texas license plate on it. The second one is made from uh, cedar uh, and that's also cedar fencing so I cut that up. And then the third one is uh, has the moss on the bottom with the Missouri license plate on top and the um, drawer knob on it for the birds to rest on. This one is made from uh, uh, cedar and that's all cedar. Second one is uh, just uh, the way I decorated it. You can see the uh, flowers on the top here, the steeple on it and uh, the different things I put around it. And this, this one here I built from just regular wood and then put uh, sheeting that you use on the roof uh, to uh, offset it a little bit. Here's that uh, bird feeder I was talking about. What he did is we bought a, um, a dollar brass lamp. It had the um, wiring attached to it. And what you do is you take all the wiring out and you, and they're already heavy because they're already weighted for the lamps. And you can find these anywhere at the thrift stores now. They're like anywhere from a dollar to three dollars. And then you can either put a tin, tin plate on top for food or um, some people will um, even out the top and actually use a, gl a glass plate or something so they can put water in. But we, we, he made this one for um, just bird food. Okay, here's some of his yard art. He's been playing with these um, stands. What you can do is you make um, different things to go inside the stand and then you just hang it from um, the
the wood so you can change it out for Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter, whatever you want. You just make whatever wooden design you want in the middle. And then over here, he's got some of his wall arts that we hang in the front. There's our 4th of July. There's our harvest. We've got another 4th of July here. And there's the welcome spring. He's been getting this um, planking that he's been making into these um, uh, wall hangings or fence hangings or porch hangings. And he's just been putting the different seasons. He just made these the other day. We got some more um, wood from one of the state sales. So he made a bunch of um, Halloween um, pumpkin uh, faces to put on the, in the yard. So that's some of his um, wall art or fence art. With yeah, here's some more of the yard art with framing. That's the flag one. So you can also exchange that out for different things. This one is the snowman. And um, I don't know if you can see around the back. There's another wall. You can see why we started hanging things on the, let me uh, go up so you can see above. Hold on just a sec. There's the snowmen, the Santa Claus, more and more gourds hanging across the top of his workshop, more flags, more yard art. That's a beautiful one. That's a spring one. More birdhouses, more gourds all the way across the top of the rafters here. They're just everywhere. Here's a close up on one of the. Um, gourd uh, uh, um, bird houses. They're just beautiful. Did we grow this gourd, honey? Maybe. Yeah, we might have grown this one. We had a good uh, harvest. Um, not this year. We're not so good this year. Last couple years, though, we had a lot of gourds that came in. Okay, here's his um, bird houses that go in the front of the house. That's our 4th of July one that's got a birdhouse with the welcome on it. That is our spring one. Here we've got our 4th of July. Rafters in here. Okay, there's a shot of the rafters with all of his birdhouses hanging down. He's getting quite a collection. And there's his workshop. Okay, that's about it. Talk to you later.